Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as always, I would love to say, call on Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, we call for a dodge. I right, double honors to the elders and the apostles of great millstone. And shout out to those for that shout out one. All right, the heavenly father name is Yahweh, whom the world equally calls God. Yahweh means he is this, he is that he is. His eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, technically infinite. And the heavenly father's son name, whom the world equally calls Jesus Christ. The heavenly father's son name is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the, he's, the, he's the savior or he's the deliverer, same as that thing. And he's coming back to save the elect of the nation of Israel. Now the question is, what are the Hebrew Israelites, sons of God, Prince of Power, Yahshua Allah? They are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians and the Israelite foreigners that look, like, that look like the other nations because you are, according to the seed of your father. And then we read the book of Numbers chapter 1. Because right, our people have been scattered through all the lands of the earth, through the four corners of the earth. All right, so um, one of my favorite scriptures of all time it's Jeremiah chapter 28 verse 8. I'ma just do my best to you know the quote. It says, The prophets before me and of the of old prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war, evil, and pestilence. And true prophets prophesied a book about evil. Evil means bad times, bad times mean evil. The prophet Noah, the voice of the Lord that moved in the book of Genesis, talking about the prophets. All right, we always been here since since the book of Genesis. Um, amen. A lot, you know what I'm saying? A lot, lot been the prophet. Abraham been the prophet. All right, um, um, uh, all of them, Jeremiah, Nahum, uh, Jonah. Matter of fact, all the disciples and the main one is Yahweh, man. They all prophesied about destruction in hell. All right? Every time the prophets are set up, they prophesy a downfall against the kingdom. They prophesied against something. And Yahweh prophesied against what? Earthquakes in diverse places, etc. And Yahweh prophesied again about what? Earthquakes in diverse places. All right? Matter of fact, let me get that. Because King Solomon was Yahweh at that. And Yahweh even, even prophesied, I mean, he was King Solomon. All right, but but matter of fact, let me get this earthquake thing. Let me pull this up in Google real quick because I seen earlier. Y'all know about Al Jazeera, if I'm saying it right. And y'all know about that earthquake in Northwest Africa in the country of Morocco. Let me get this real quick. And I'm going to show this on screen so I can show y'all. All right. I ain't about to accept those cookies neither. Because I am not TI. I don't sell out. But, but anyway, it says Morocco girls at risk of sexual assault force marriage after earthquake because after a natural disaster, whatever you want to call it, when all hell break loose, like prime example, Hurricane Katrina, the Pope men, women call the police, the Pope meets. I mean, the uh, police was freaking sexual assaulting the damn woman that called that, managed to call the police. You had dudes, that, you had police that been dropping their bags. They thought it was the end of the world back then. You I mean, you got, you, you had a, 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 a earthquake in Italy, three earthquakes in Japan above five. These earthquakes is above five. This shit happened in past on, on, on 24 to what, 28 hours. Earthquakes in Davos places, and your house shall prophesy about that. It says, concerns are rife about trafficking, menstrual hygiene, and securing safe childbirth. All right, so so look, man, you you uh, women that's teasing men on these social medias. On social media, you know, you got the Instagram showing your body, showing your edge, your titties, and all that, dressing like a whore. When you read this article, it goes into how do we uh, basically what the prophet's been saying for years. Y'all on this social media account teasing man, showing your ass and all that. These same man that's ups obsessed with you, they going to see you and they going to grape you. All right. This is real. Now, again, this is in hours of zero and you can see it for yourself as I show it on screen. All right, so we're going to drop that because I have one to prove that point. 
But let me read this right quick. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 25. Because this is the scripture that I want to start off with. It says, in the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. And you, you already know that. You know, that's self-explanatory. All right, that's why the Bible says that a gift destroys the heart. The heart is your mind. Give yeah, well, our people food stamps. They don't forgot all about horror, horror slavery, etc. Especially the woman. She got her section. She ain't. She ain't thinking about her nation. She thinking about herself. All right. She is destroyed. Just like the man is destroyed. You have to attack the the woman first. Then never attack the man first. The man is gonna fight. If you want to destroy a nation, you have to attack the woman first. That's why the serpent, which was Esau, the red Hebrew Edomites so-called white man that's why the serpent went to the woman first get in her mind once the woman is conquered now the man he he's gonna fall that's just how life works you, you go after the weaker vessel first the body got weak points you hit a certain point what happened the whole body drop that's what i'm saying weak points like again from street fighter 2 i mean street fighter 4 but anyway she the weaker vessel. It is what it is. That's how the Lord made it. So now, let me read this. Let me continue reading this. Ecclesiastes okay, chapter 11, verse 25. And in the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. You see, right now, everybody is living large. You even got people on uh, minimum wage at their job, working hard, ain't getting paid shit, whether it's a man or a woman. Hey, here in the state of South Carolina, the, what, the minimum raise is seven twenty-five, but you can get you a three-bedroom house for what four fifty a month. Now, of course, it don't compare to other states because other states is high as fuck. But you paying thousands just to live in a one-bedroom studio? Get that shit up out of here, man. But anyway, even in the UK and Canada, you know, shit high as hell. You know, America is depending on where you go is way three times sometimes four times better but in the day of prosperity there was a uh, matter of fact let me read it again it says in in the day of affliction there is no more remembrance of prosperity so whenever all hell break loose and the true prophets are set up to tell you about the hell that's coming so that you can get your mind right for the hell to come when all hell break loose what people love, love to say when shit hit the fans I mean, when you know, shit hit the fan, it ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be thinking about your uh, 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 Mortal Kombat or your uh, football, your basketball, your uh, sports, your cooking shows, uh, going to script clubs and bars. You ain't gonna be thinking about how uh, good that matter felt, like Undercover Brother. You ain't gonna be thinking about none of that. You thinking about how the hell can you pay this bill? Your rent high as hell, your bills don't went up. Okay, you ain't thinking about going to a club or wherever the well, fuck people love to do, I don't know. You ain't gonna be thinking about that. No, you think about your uh, bills. Or oh, whenever shit hit the fan fully, you thinking about how the hell you can get these pack of wolves off your body from mauling you to death. You is thinking about how these lions escape from the zoo and now they mauling your ass to death. Or you don't jump in, uh, you, you don't jump in a, 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 a body of water and guess what? It's a shark and an alligator sharing you. Listen, a shark and an alligator is not going to have a problem. I mean, a shark and an alligator is not going to have a problem sharing your body. They're going to eat your ass alive. All right? Because people is on the internet venting and no complaining about the price of everything going up. Listen, the prophets told you that. The, 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 the thing is, you didn't listen. Now that some of y'all are listening to a certain stand, you still sleep because this world is the, this Esau world is the matrix. Every, everybody is gonna hit reality in the kingdom of heaven. Even Edom himself, he gonna say, "Well, damn, I was living. Well, shit, not no more. Now your ass is dying. See, right now we die daily. We die every day. He lives every day." Even the other heathens, hell, they be living. But in the kingdom of heaven, we gonna live forever. And guess what? They gonna die forever. 
when you die, that, that means you lose. It's, it's, it's like a, a video game. When you die, what? You lose. But whenever you live, you win. Or what? You win. Or what? You or what? Win what? You live. Alright? But see, right now, our enemy is winning. And what? We losing, which means what? We die and suffer. Let's read this one more time. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 25. It says, In the day of prosperity, there is a, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. And in the day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. So, check this out. Whenever Jacob's trouble hit, when there's no food, you're not going to remember, Oh, man, I used to eat three times a day. Nah, there's a famine. You can't go through a drive through You ain't gonna be no more McDonald's, no Burger King, no none of that. These truck drivers, it's the reason why there's food in the store. There's food at your restaurant. It ain't gonna be no more truck driving, no nothing. The Lord gonna cut all that shit. The Lord gonna say, his service gonna eat, but everybody else gonna be hungry. The truck drivers gonna stop. Listen, this shit is gonna happen. The damn, the damn docks, the damn shipments, that shit is gonna come to naught. Y'all better get it right. Y'all better get the fucking program because the Lord said his man and his women, his man is going to eat. The elect is going to eat point blank, period. Why all y'all starve? And it's going to happen. This and this and these other countries catch hell all the time. I just now read about uh, the country of, excuse me, I just now read about the country of uh, Morocco. Uh, how the way them little girls and shit like that getting rape and shit. Hey, look, man, this shit gonna happen. And see, all you women that's on social media teasing men, y'all gonna get a train ran on y'all. Alright? And you gonna wish an actual train ran on your ass. Because when the train of men come, oh no, they ain't gonna stop me. They gonna, they gonna break your ass to fucking death. Alright? Though I be rude in speech, but not in knowledge, because I, I'm telling you what's in the Bible. Alright? Shit. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's read the very next verse. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 26. It says, For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. So in the day of death, it's easy for the Lord to what? To what? Pay you back. If you uh, 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 live righteously, alright? You gonna live, I mean, you can get a righteous reward. That's eternal life. But if you live wickedly, you gonna get what? A wicked reward. Alright, you have what? Light, dark. You have what? Uh, life, death. Alright, sir? There's a perfect balance. Alright? Hey, what? Another scripture says that what? For every idle word, hey, you, you're going to have to what? Be judged based off what your words. Do you speak life or what? You speak death. Alright? And see, we over here speaking life. And it seems like we speaking death. Man, we ain't speaking death. Hey, man, we keeping it raw. Uncut. I ain't editing this video or nothing like that. Uncut. 100% raw. Alright? And raw as in telling the whole scriptures. Alright? Me me sugarcoat nothing. I'm one of those prophets, I read the whole nine, I ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing. Alright? I read the scriptures where they speak against being a simp. You got prophets, fake ass prophets that don't read the Bible, don't that don't read the scriptures that goes against simping. They don't read that. Be, nah, I read anything else, but I ain't gonna read old scriptures. No, I read the whole nine. Alright. Matter of fact, what I wanna do. Matter of fact, let's, let's uh, read this. Verse 27, Ecclesiastes chapter, 20, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 27. It says, the affliction, it says, the affliction of an hour making a man forget pleasure. Basically the same thing. I mean, you being tortured and beat up, you ain't, you is not remembering, you know, uh, uh, football. You just trying to get out of that situation. And the Lord said he's going to destroy Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, in one hour. You is not remembering the great times. You, you, 
uh, birthday parties and you ain't gonna remember none of that shit. Right? You trying to figure out how in the hell can you stop the fire from burning and cooking your ass, man. But let's drop that. Let's drop all that. Because I want to get right back where I left off from yesterday. And we going to get into that. Because look, man, we is the, this is the real news. The word gospel means good news. You get real news over here. All right? Ain't nothing wrong with, you know, using the world, but don't get attached to it. Don't let that blind you from what's really going on. Don't be an NPC. Don't be an NPC. In a video game, man, don't be an NPC in these uh, movies, man. Be a main character, but a good main character, a positive main character that live, that would live forever. All right? Because fake news, bullshit news, is what's on TV. You know, your sports news, your cooking news, even video game news. Celeb Y'all love celebrity news, man. Fuck a damn, like I always say, fuck a celebrity. Y'all love celebrity news, man. Who who won the Oscar? Uh, NBA stats, football stats, and soccer stats. No, 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 man. That's, that's bullshit news. Uh, someone dog died today, man. Ain't nobody care about that. But real news is what earthquakes in diverse places. Uh, Sudan still having a civil war. All right, that civil wars do still exist. But if but you don't know that if you don't look it up. But don't worry about it. The Lord set up prophets, real prophets, that's going to look up everything. That's why the Lord said he have set watchmen upon thy walls. All right? That's going to feed you what knowledge and what you was going to eat. That's how you build. Now you have went from being well, uh, uh, skinny to what? Fat in a positive way. Fat with well, a whole lot of knowledge. And it, it ain't nothing wrong with being obese when it comes to what? Having that knowledge in you. All right? Because what? Cause guess what? I'm skinny physically, but I'm fat spiritually with all this knowledge. It's real, it's real news right here, man. Fat. Let me get right back to where I left off at from yesterday. Alright. Revelation chapter 15, verse 2. And I saw as it were a sea of glass ming mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of the Lord, all right, because when we get delivered from this World War Three, yes, people is not gonna make it when World War Three hit. They gonna um, die. So a lot of people gonna die before World War Three, all right. But whenever the Lord delivers us from that so-called UFO, which is what the chariot of the Lord, that's and the one that Yahweh Shai coming in is is gonna be bigger than the earth. I mean, all eyes shall see him. All eyes. Hey, the Lord's going to deliver us in that. But if you is in America and you ain't got delivered, you about to be missile food. All right. Revelation chapter 15 verse 3. It says, and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of the Lord. We going to sing the song of Moses. You can read the song of Moses in the book of Exodus. Matter of fact, let's get the book of Exodus. All right. Let's uh, get the book of Exodus. So we need to understand what the song of Moses is. But uh, let me break down the song of Moses. The Song of Moses, this is the book of uh, Exodus chapter 15 verse 1. It says, Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord Yehovah Bashim Yahweh Okay, so when Moses, when the Lord used Moses to deliver us out. I'm going to say that again. When the Lord used Moses to deliver us out of ancient Egypt from the people of Sudan. The people of Sudan they are Hamites. Those not our people. Uh, now you do have a lot of our people who live in Sudan, but the original Sudanese are the people, are the real Egyptians. They had uh, they had us in slavery for those 400 years. All right, they had us in slavery for those 400 years, but those are not our people. Just like when Moses delivered us from ancient Egypt, we sang a song and joy and the happiness. Matter of fact, the Lord Yahweh He's gonna deliver us this time physically himself. And the Lord gonna be so happy. Matter of fact, the Lord said he's never gonna drink wine until he reunite with his brothers. In order for the Lord to reunite with his brothers, 
he have to destroy Edom and beat if you is if for you is in the army get the fuck out because anybody that's in the army across the whole entire world but up whatever army it is it's called a day of Armageddon every person in the army no matter what country you from if you in that army the Lord is going to kill the Lord is going to kill you destroy you beat you to powder send you back to the earth himself your flesh going right back to the army I mean your flesh going right back to the dirt the Lord said he going to beat you to powder now your soul gonna go up but your damn body gonna go down back to the dirt the Lord gonna beat you to powder like the scripture say see that shit alright but anyway back in the Exodus chapter 15 verse 1 then saying Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord alright because what it's gonna be a celebration in that day the best celebration ever it's gonna be the best celebration ever all right. Yeah, I mean the Lord gonna be celebrated. Alright, we're gonna be celebrating. It's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. It says, and spake saying, I will sing unto the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh for he have triumphed gloriously. That word triumph means to be victorious, to win, succeed, to overcome. It says, for he have triumphed gloriously. Alright, the end of what? World War Three. World War Three will happen. All right. It says, "For he have a uh, triumph gloriously. The horse and his rider. That horse represents what? Those those uh in modern day. The horse represent what? Those jets, those fighter jets. Okay. That will come out like a uh, locusts. When you read that, that what those locusts? When you read in the book of Revelation, re represent those jets because there was no jets in the ancient world." So the best way to describe how the way those locusts look was what? I mean, how the how, how the way those jets look was what to say locusts. I mean, it, it, I mean like those modern days, some of those uh, fighter weapon shit look, literally look like locusts. All right, they got a little window the way you know they can see. They got a little helmet on and you know they shoot like that's the best way you can, you can describe it. And the best way to describe a missile. Freaking 5,000 years ago, what to say, an arrow. The arrows that he shoot, those not actual arrows, those are missiles being shot. That's the best way to describe it 5,000 years ago, you see? But anyway, it says, For he have triumphed gloriously the horse and his rider. The horse, okay, the man that's in those jets, all right, have he thrown into the sea. That sea is talking about what? The lake of fire. The sea back then was talking about the, uh, the actual water. I mean, Moses split, split the Red Sea and all our people walked through. That sea was water back then. The modern day sea is going to be the lake of fire, which America going to get turned into a lake of fire. It's going to be World War III. The Lord is going to cast your ass down into the sea. All right. And that's what we're going to be singing, man. Praise the Lord. You have a body. I'm shy. Whenever he delivered the elect. Hey Amen. Even the Lord Himself said that what some of us that's gonna be standing, that some of us that's standing right now should not taste of death, which means some of y'all that's living right now is gonna never die. You gonna live to see the Lord. The Lord gonna come back in your lifetime. You gonna live to see you have a shy, and guess what? You ain't gonna die. You gonna live forever. We are gonna receive new bodies, heavenly bodies. Now let's get back to Revelation chapter 15 verse 3. It says, and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of the Lord. I mean, we was being what delivered and the song of the lamb same thing saying great and marvelous are thy words we we is going to be singing great and marvelous are, are thy words we're going to be extremely thankful and, and glad to be of the elect not to just be an israelite because all israel going to be saved but two-thirds must die on this side but we're going to be praising the lord that we is not only saved but of the elect and he helped us. He opened our eyes, and we ain't doing to the end. That's why the Bible says to make your calling in the election short, because many men is called, but only few is chosen. That's the thing. A lot of men know that the Hebrew Israelites, but guess what? They're not chosen to be of uh, what that elect number. It says in the song of the Lamb, saying, "Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord, power Almighty. 
just it says just and true are thy ways thou king of saints that's talking about your house right? king of king lords of lords and look we kings we lords the word lord means owner we're gonna own our own planets we're gonna own people right and we kings king is self-explanatory you have dominion you have power do i have to explain it no you already know it we kings and we lords the lord your house is the king of king lord of lords he owned us and he's our king King David is is our king as well, but Yahushai is his king. King David is our king, but Yahushai is his king. King of kings, Lord of lords. And guess what? We kings as well. And the word queen means whore. We're not going to have queens. We're going to have princes. Okay? You is a princess. Right? Even Nintendo know that. But anyway... Uh, Peach is a uh, is a, a princess, not a queen. You see, but when you know the meaning of words, you know what's right and what's wrong. But anyway, let's uh, read the Reverend next verse, last last scripture up for the day. I clear, I think of a skill guy. But anyway, it says Revelation chapter chapter fifteen verse four. It says, "Who shall not fear thee?" And that's the question that we is gonna ask. Who shall not fear the Lord? The Bible says, "Shall there be evil in the city, and what the Lord have not done?" It? All right, who shall not fear the Lord? Whenever the Lord controlled everything, man, especially after how the way the Lord delivered up, especially how the way the Lord what delivered the elect and dis and, and, and is completely destroyed and, and annihilate and exterminate all the men that was in the army, including you women that will be trafficked. Oh yes, you women gonna be trafficked. You want the equality, you got it. The Lord gonna destroy men and men and women. Men and women. Back in Revelation chapter 15, verse 4. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? Everybody going to fear the name of Yahweh Shem Yahabashai. Alright? For thou only art holy. Only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee. For thy judgment are made manifest. How is the Lord's judgment made manifest? Because we right now is prophesying about the Lord's judgment. We telling you all hell gonna break loose. We telling you the Lord gonna fuck shit up, and guess what? The Lord is gonna do it. That's how the Lord's judgment are gonna be made manifest, cause the Lord is gonna do it. All right. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this on Tuesday. Hold on, what day it is? Tuesday, September the 19th. I'm gonna go ahead and end this Tuesday lunch break camp lesson. Hopefully it was edifying. All right. I'm gonna end off by saying, call on your habit by Shem Al Shai by Shem Rikar Kudash, the one to us in the Apostle of Great Millstone. And shout out one, two, for the late shout out one.